What's up, Smash? How's it going? Hey, what's up, everybody? We are live here from Pyramind Studios on the Mentor My Mix podcast. I'm Greg Gordon, and to my right here, I have the inimitable Smash Old Tooth. What is up? Yay! Thanks for having me. Greg. Oh yeah, man! It's, it's good a, to be here. Of course, it's a pleasure to have you here, and uh, it's you know it's been really interesting for me to get to familiarize with your music. And what you're all about, because you are all about it, girl. I, I am, am all about it. You, I've been all about it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah for a long time. Y- yeah, you have. So you, you've been, and and that's you know one of the things that I love to highlight um, on this podcast is career arches. You know the story behind people's careers and how they've gotten to where they are now. You know, it, it, and we all know this is a battle. You know, the music industry is no joke. You've become very well known for genre bending and, and mashing up these genres, whether it's, um, I mean, you're, you're, you're mashing up hyphy, dubstep, glitchy, dance hall. It's because I have a really bad hip-hop. ADD, so I just want to hear it all, and I want to hear it all now as quickly as possible. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, I just want it all. I want it all. I don't want to hear one genre. I think a big secret weapon that I have is not listening to what's popular out yeah. there right now. Uh huh. Um, because it makes me keep to my own kind of aesthetic and not because what's out there is so great I mean I'll obviously listen to it every once in a while but I don't want to get too inspired by it that I want to do that because I want to do everything yeah so um so something that I neglect doing really is following a lot of bigger artists which I think if I followed them and was a little more into them they might you know reciprocate a little bit more but I definitely have like a lone wolf mentality in terms of like forging through the darkness doing what I feel is right for myself and only recently have I been comfortable actually putting it out. Well, it's not just music, you know. I mean, I think we live in a very judgmental country. As, as free as we think we are, you know, and maybe this is part of your expression here, your red, white, and blueness, you know, and the fact that you can actually connect with people and express yourself in a way that maybe offends them, but makes them think about who they really are. And I think that, I mean, that's what I'm getting from your music. Correct me if I'm wrong No, here. no, I, I, and I think that's a big part of why I rep America, you know. Uh-huh. It's like, I'm not repping it because I'm so proud of it. I uh-huh. mean, I there's parts of it that I'm proud of. Um, and, but a lot of it, I mean, it's like, it's a sick baby. And we're trying, I'm, we live here and we're all in it together. And it takes a village and it's important, you know, to live in reality. Like, we're living here, we're, there are these problems that exist. And... How can we work together to bring us out of it? Yeah. Well, patriotism is a two-edged sword, yes. right? It cuts and both I am ways. And a two-edged sword as And well. you are, definitely. Yeah. And, and that's part of what I really love about you is that you show both sides of who we are. And I think so many people are blind patriots, right? It's like America no matter what. Or opposite. Like, what do you mean opposite? Or the opposite of blind patriots. Uh-huh. They're just blind unpatriots. Oh, oh blind. <laughs> <laughs> blind, blind, blind. Okay. Bias. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, you, you, you can't just be like, America, whatever. It's like, well, no, America, yes, we're, we're proud to be Americans. We're grateful for, like, this country and what we've been able to accomplish here. But it can always be better. It and there's a lot better. of nasty shit going on, right? Yeah. And, I, you know, listening to your lyrics, you're definitely, you know, you're, 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 show, you're showing that gritty underbelly of what that looks like from your perspective I'm taking it right? yeah I mean and that's what I was talking to you earlier about the cover art that um, Tay Lyon did from Made Fresh Crew oh yeah you. Um, thank uh-huh. you um, uh-huh. amazing artists all of them now this um, is the, really the, cool the smashal of liberty are we talking yeah, about yeah so um, well Bone Goddess uh, took the photos um, we actually went viral I at I one of my up here. Yeah. one of my sets um, she had she's like is it okay if I bring these twerking babies on stage and we're just gonna throw milk <laughs> around each other and, and we're gonna dress these baby heads and I was like that sounds perfect and so um, at that show, someone made a video of it, and it was to a Ritz remix um, uh-huh, that my uh-huh. friend in disguise did. Um, who's now disco, by the way? Go check him out on SoundCloud. Okay. Um, and uh, it went viral because Ritz found out about it, and so he's like, "Oh, there's all these twerking babies dancing to my song," and so he put it on Instagram. 
um, me DJing with the Bone Goddess uh, dancing and um, and uh, Ritz picked it up, put it on his Instagram, and got like hundreds of thousands of views or something. And everyone thought we were the Illuminati. They thought we were like these rich people doing like weird baby sex games at some festival somewhere. And so we, it was just hilarious all the stuff we got. But point of the story is that uh, I bring the twerk babies back onto the c cover of the album. So I took the photo when I was about eight months pregnant. Uh -huh. And then all the twerk babies are around me. Um, and then I'm lift I'm the Statue of Liberty, right? So I'm lifting a microphone. Yeah. And I'm um, smoking a cigarette. Okay. And I'm I have a, a John Wayne record in my hand instead of the books that the statue has. Yes. And um, it's like America and why I love her. Part of it was just like America I'm pregnant, like America's this pregnant um, concept of like disease and like, um, you know, that there's pregnant women smoking and there's like just, you know, these sick babies coming out and, and then there's like sick, sick, weird sex shit happening too. And everything is just kind of sick. And we're, but we're working to alchemize that sickness into art or music or relationship. Right. So I think I hit this like, bad spot for me it definitely wasn't a sweet spot where I wasn't received well by a lot of people because mm -hmm. my music was offensive um, and it kind of made me go back into my shell a little bit more mm -hmm. than I normally would have because every time I went out I felt like I was in a battle mm -hmm. like every time I went to Portland um, which is ironic because that's where I live now I'd have to have some big fight about my selection of music and Actually, they told me not to play rap music um, in Portland once, and so I played like the gnarliest, most offensive, violent rap music I could possibly find in my library um, in that moment, just because I was so mad. And um, well, you know, it, it makes me think about Mal, Mal Harper. Obviously, um, somebody you've been working with for like ten years she's or so like now. Literally, right? the only industry uh -huh. person who's constantly had my back for over ten years. Now, for those who don't know, we're talking about Mal, Mal Label. Uh, and this release is coming out on Mal Label. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. coming out on Mal Label. Uh -huh. um, she's picked up my my full length album. Yep. Um, That's I'm so pretty awesome. sure we're gonna uh, press it onto vinyl too, which is really mm -hmm. exciting. And mm -hmm. actually, one of my big life achievements was to just put an album out on vinyl, and it might be my last one because I just so cool. wanted to do it mm -hmm. and have that um, legacy left behind. I, it's funny because I'm scared it's gonna. I'm scared it's going to fail, but I'm also scared it's going to succeed as well. Uh -huh. um, because if it succeeds, I'm going to have to be taken away from my kids or I'm going to have the temptation to be, you know, on the road or, you know, doing shows or whatever. So with all this busyness going on, right, how do you find time to produce? How do you, and, and not only how do you find time, but what kind of space do you create for yourself to be able to make that possible? Because you got a lot going on. Yeah. Right? You got kids, you got... Well, it's hard being a DJ and a producer. Mm -hmm. I've been a DJ for 10 years mm -hmm. and when I go play a set I have to look for new music I have to put it all in my Serato I have to do cue points for the music I have mm -hmm. to you know see what the BPMs are all this stuff mm -hmm. so um, I really don't have a lot of time to produce I think the only reason I was really able to finish this album was because of COVID mm -hmm. and I was actually pregnant during COVID mm -hmm. and I had a year where I was just able to um, flesh out all of these things that I had been working on like half fast uh, projects that I wanted to finish mm -hmm. during right. COVID. It's, it's hard. It's hard because when you're living a busy life like that, to be able to not only make the physical space, but to make the mental space and be creative and express yourself as an artist and do those things is, you know, I, I think that's why so many, um, I mean, we talk about it being a youth industry, mm -hmm. but I think it's for a reason. You know, the creative spark happens when you're young and it also, you have the time and the energy and the space, you know, exactly. to do it when you're young. And, and I, I'm bringing this up for people who are listening to like, take advantage of it. Do it while you can. You know, you think you're going to be around a long time, but boy, it all goes by in the well, blink of an eye. You and know? have confidence too. Mm -hmm. Just yes. have confidence. Yeah. Have the confidence. I, I, I really do feel like that's where I failed was I lacked that. That mm. could have brought me to the next level in my 30s. Oh, yeah. really? So if, if you were to look back now on your 10 years as a DJ and coming into being a producer, um, what would you say to any other young women getting started in their careers? What, what, what would you oh. maybe have done different? Or what, what kind of words of wisdom could you share from that, that whole road trip that you've just been on? Well, I think it's so important not to compare yourself to others. Um, 
there's a quote, I think it's like, comparison is the thief of joy. Mm -hmm. It's really important also as women, I think, to band together and support one another instead of be jealous of them or- Oh yeah, cat um, fights. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, it's so easy to do because it's mm -hmm. so competitive with it us. Is, yeah. And it's like, if, I, if like I'm not gonna be there, someone else is gonna be there. And it was just like with acting, you know, it's like you get cast for a role and there's only one person getting cast in that role. Well, there's only mm -hmm. one person getting that lineup or like getting to headline or mm -hmm. who's gonna be under this person or that person and a lot of times you just have to pay your dues and and yeah I, I think just supporting each other um, not comparing yourself to anyone else and just never stopping just if you want it just keep going and don't let you know right. I feel like a clown like one of those airblown clown punching bags mm -hmm. like you just go down and you come back up then you go down and you come back up and you go here and you go here and you go here but you're just like this weighted balloon uh, yeah, yeah. and if you uh -huh. can kind of keep that concept like you are going to get punched and you are going to get smacked down as an artist uh -huh. like constantly and uh -huh. Know that that just comes with the territory, and if you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen, bitch. Oh yeah, well, and it's hard when you're sensitive, huh? Well, I've been, I am sensitive. I know, that's what I'm saying. That yeah. it's, it's not yeah. easy. I am too. I've been through it myself, so. But I'm I tenacious. Know what that's like. Yeah, and that's the that's the big takeaway. Exactly. You can be sensitive. You can take it to heart, and yet you have to bounce back. Exactly. You got to be able to just keep going at it, because you know, first time they're gonna laugh, the second time they may laugh, the third time they may laugh, but the fourth time they may be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. They might be buying your shit. Exactly. You know? yeah. Exactly. And so you, and then, you know, staying true to yourself. Which well, you've done. And I think mm -hmm. I, I also faked it till I make it. Like, seriously. Like, I, yeah, I really have this. That. This, um, mm -hmm. like, I just, and that's where the, the imposter syndrome can take you away from that. Like, I train wrecked so long at the beginning of my career, and it became, like, just a part of my shtick. Mm -hmm. And it, it, I don't think you have to be perfect either. That's important, too. Mm -hmm. Like, this mm -hmm. album isn't perfect mm -hmm. by any means. Mm -hmm. And I think if you're attached to perfection, it's just going to take you a hell of a lot longer to get there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and what is perfection at the end of the day? And I, I've heard that from a lot of people, you know, I, I, I've had artists on here and people comment to me, you know, hey, that's a mentor on my mix podcast and that mix sucked. And I'm like, well, yeah, but maybe what didn't suck to other people, you know, and what's it's very relative, you know, you can get very technical about mixes, right? And so I tell technical. people, even though that's what this podcast is called. This is not just about mixing music here. This is about mixing life and mixing your career and having a vision for yourself, you know, and ex being able to express that in a way that really entertains and makes people stop and think. Well, mixing know? is like a collage, yes. right? It's like a collage yes. of, of life yes, as well. Is. And so we're, we're all collaging together. We are, and it's a metaphor for life yeah. in that sense. So I'm very grateful to you for being oh, here you. and doing this with us. It's been awesome having you on the show here today. Thank you so much. Um, really a pleasure to get to know you. Um, I spent the, like the morning like listening to other podcasts you were on and checking you yeah. out. Oh, I'm like, life, oh, way, I can't wait to meet this woman. <laughs> She's so awesome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And likewise, cool. I know I've been listening to your podcast too. So Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, for those of you who want to check out Smashville Tooth uh, out in the world, she's on. you're on SoundCloud, right? SoundCloud's probably the best place to find yeah. me but when we put the album out in 2023 it'll be on spotify and okay Apple. so this will be your first time having an artist profile yes on spotify exactly. and Apple music that's know, super cool it's a dream come true yeah a dream come true that's yeah. really great congratulations thank you so much Very thanks exciting. to malleable too for yep. mm -hmm. providing me with that honor yeah 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 and thanks to malleable for bringing us together today totally. and uh, thanks to you for listening out there hey all right thanks everybody we're gonna tune out right now thanks for being with us big peace out out and um i guess there's not much more to say other than this smash or two thank you for coming all over my face <laughs> <laughs> mentor my mix is made possible by pyramid music and audio production institute evolve your sound with expert trainers and up-to-date courses designed to fit the needs of emerging artists and producers looking to build careers in the music and game audio industries Go to Pyramind.com for details on the San Francisco campus and online programs. Remember, if you have a guest suggestion or want to contact me for any reason, we have a contact form on the Mentor My Mix website. That's MentorMyMix.com. Or feel free to email me at Greg at MentorMyMix.com.